Hello and welcome to Theming Drupal, but not quite. We're just going to try to generate a new theme or sub theme from the base Drupal 10 Olibero theme. All right, let's check this out. Uh, for the casual user, again, this is daunting as fuck. Look at this. I saw a creating sub themes. Here we go. Generating a new theme using starter kit. Okay, X starter kit would be that base theme I'm talking about, I guess. Um, tell you the truth, this is my first time trying to generate one in Drupal 10. I just opened up a terminal. We are going to go into our directory with a Drupal 10 site I had on the go. And it is very basic. If you saw any of my earlier videos, it is the same installation with an FAQ. Edev launch. You know, I could have just launched right from the beginning. Anyhow, this is the Drupal 8 uh, 10 site. This is the Olivero theme. We'll go to appearance. And this is the um, the default themes available in your default Drupal 10 install. It only contains the main base theme for the site and the Claro administration theme, which you are looking at right now. Okay. So let's figure this out. Generating a new theme using starter kit. A new sub theme of stable nine, stable nine, whatever that is, can be generated in the themes directory by running the following command. So are they telling you to go to the themes directory or is it going to be in the themes directory? I'm guessing it wants you not to be in the themes directory. Obviously in the web directory, which they don't tell you either. Depends on the how you got Drupal installed, really. We need some, uh, some good guides here, Joops. Spend some of that money, Drees. Let's go. All right. We're in the web directory of our Drupal 10 site. If we just do a quick look back, you'll see the vendor, composer, all that daily stuff. Now, we're just going to jump into EDEV SSH. So we're in the container bash now so there's no l i'm going to get back in that web directory and then we're going to try to copy and paste the fluffiness php core scripts drupal generate three theme fluffiness so it's going to look for core scripts drupal which will be a php script and it'll have the arguments generate theme and then you'll have to provide uh your argument for that argument so i'm guessing it's not an argument it's a whatever you call it anyhow on to it theme generated successfully to themes fluffiness after all that bashing look how nice that is let's just take a quick look at core scripts drupal see what it actually did we should have did this beforehand i forgot i'm not in Z, oh my ZSH. So I'm catting instead of batting. Well, bat is installed separately. I highly suggest it. So, very simple script. It loads up some dependencies from Drupal. There's a the auto loader. Bootstraps the app, I guess. Some very easy to read commands, and the result is in the themes directory. Fluffiness. CD luckiness LS LS minus AL. There you go. That is a generated theme. And if we look back at our Drupal 10 site and refresh this page, it is right here. Luffiness install and set as default. Back to site. And look how beautiful it not is. But it's a nice fresh start for you to create whatever you want. Have fun.